Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. In today's video, we'll be doing some stretches to help relieve sciatic nerve pain. The sciatic nerve is from like your heel all the way up into your glute. And it's usually on one side when you have the pain, but it can sometimes be in both legs. I have a lot of experience with this pain from running and you know I guess it's from my heel hitting the ground hard and also from whatever could be happening in my hips and in my back when I'm running. So I have a lot of experience with feeling sciatic nerve pain. So um, one thing to help relieve sciatic pain is to just kind of back off on whatever you're doing whatever you're doing that can irritate it if you can. So in my case with running, I just slowed down my running a little bit. And and let my sciatic nerve just heal some more and then also just doing some stretches and exercises that can help it so today we're just going to do some stretches that is going to open up our hips a little bit of our lower back and um, just some stretches that you'll feel along the back of the leg as well so all you'll need is a sock and this is we're just going to use our sock as a prop like a, a yoga strap so if you have a yoga strap you can grab that too so let's just warm up with a little bit of cat cow come into hands and knees hands underneath shoulders knees underneath hips go ahead and flip the tailbone upward lift the chin up rotate the eyes of the elbows forward here arching the spine inhale exhale round the spine tuck the tailbone under tuck the chin down to the chest inhale up exhale down moving through a couple more rounds with your breath Come back to a neutral spine. We'll get ready to move into a down dog. If you're not comfortable with down dog, you can continue to move um, with your cat cow. We'll tuck our toes under and lift our hips up and back. Pressing our chest towards the thighs and pressing our heels towards the ground. All we're gonna do is bring a bend into our right knee and our left knee, alternating each side. And if you want to stop and pause a little longer on both sides, you can. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and drop down to the knees. Bring your big toes together. Knees come out wide. We're going to float our hips back towards our heels for child's pose. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, melt down towards your mat. And if you need some elevation, just bring a pillow or a block underneath your hips. Take an inhale, go ahead and float your body forward. Let's bring our knees out about the width of our mat and just come down to our elbows. And then just kind of press your hips back a little bit. Get another good stretch in those hips. If you, you know, have the capacity to come down lower, maybe come into a frog pose, get down on the insides of the feet you can. those hips back. 
inhale exhale release come back to a table position we're gonna extend those legs out in front of us and we'll just come to a seated forward bend so sweep those arms up inhale exhale lead with the chest we want to try to have this connection from like our abdomen towards the top of our thighs so lead with the chest as you lower down and remember if this starts to become too painful feel free to come out of the posture Exhale, release. Go ahead and grab your sock or your yoga strap. And we're going to grab either end of our sock and just wrap it around the ball of our foot. So all I want you to do is kind of pull the ball of your foot towards you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lead with the chest, melt down a little bit. Exhale, release. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Wrapping the sock around the ball of our foot. Pull the ball of your foot towards you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slowly melt down. Exhale, release. Put that sock to the side. Go ahead and bend the knees, bringing the feet flat. Let's scoot our hips close to our heels. Come down to your back. From here, go ahead and take your right knee, right uh, ankle, cross it over your left knee. Make sure that right foot is flexed, the ankle is clearing the knee. And this might be enough for you. This might be enough to open up your hip so you can just stay here. Hands maybe rest on your belly. But if you're feeling comfortable, go ahead and bring that knee in towards your chest. And you can grab under the knee, you can grab the shin, or you can grab behind the thigh. And if you like, you can even let your right elbow kind of press this right knee away. If you wanna deepen that stretch. Inhale. Exhale, release. Across the right ankle, across the left ankle over the right knee. Pull it in towards your chest. Exhale, release. Let's take the legs, lift them up towards the sky. So we will cross right leg over left and go ahead and bend your right knee. Left leg extends up towards the sky. So you can either grab the back of your left calf, 
pulling it towards you or if you're feeling okay with it go ahead and bend that left knee as well and we're gonna grab both feet and just pull them down so if you're doing this one with your left leg extended you'll feel it more in your left leg but if you're doing the version where both knees are bent and we're in upside down cow face you'll probably feel it a little more in your right leg Exhale, release. Lift those legs back up towards the sky. Let's cross left over right. Again, you could bend your left knee, grabbing the right calf, pull it towards you. Or you can bend both knees, grabbing each of the feet, pulling them down towards the ground. This is actually my favorite stretch for that sciatica pain. Exhale, release. Hug the knees into the chest. And then just let both the knees fall over to the right side. You can let your left arm cactus out to the side. Maybe your gaze is over to the left or maybe it's up towards the sky. Exhale back to center, hug the knees in, let them both fall to the left. Right arm can cactus out to the side, gaze can be over to the right or to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, hug the knees in one more time. And release. So feel free to repeat this sequence as often as you need to. I feel like to be most effective, like I mentioned earlier, just take a break from whatever, whatever is bothering your sciatic nerve and then just continue with your stretching and just give yourself a little bit of rest. So let me know if this video helps you. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.